A Bi Network is really a community of people that have come together to promote and enjoy and appreciate biblically grounded, gospel-centered, holistic mental health principles. So partly because of some difficult experiences I had as a teenager set me up for a struggle with depression into my adult years, even into my Christian experience. I was looking for counseling at a certain point. Counseling itself was kind of rare. I lived out in the country and there weren't a whole lot of counselors in that area. And so I couldn't find a counselor. And I know that if I had met the right counselor at that time, they could have really helped me. But there was nothing to be found in that regard. So that ultimately led me to later in my life ask, what could I do to be there for someone in the way that I needed someone to be there for me? Many years later, I started, officially started a private practice and named it Abide Counseling. It has since changed to Abide Network because we do more than counseling and coaching. But just to give you the broad overview, this is about 15 years ago, started this ministry because I was getting too many referrals to handle them on myself, so I needed to give them to others. And I had two other people I was giving these referrals to. Now we have about 30 trained counselors and coaches, and not all of them are active, but we have at least that many on our website, and we have 15 to 20 intakes a week. We've conducted tens of thousands of sessions. Now we're doing workshops, we're doing trainings. It's this whole thing <laughs> that it turned into as God led step by step, and we are providing exactly what I needed at that time in my life when I was in crisis. And there's something so gratifying about that, about actually showing up where nobody showed up for you and being that person. So it has become that, and I'm so grateful to God. So in the Adventist Church, we have taken the physical health message very seriously. The mental health message, not so seriously. And yet we're very serious about evangelism and our spiritual teachings. So the way I see it is there's three aspects to human nature, three basic aspects that all interface with one another that are part of the holism of a human being, always living in interconnection with one another. But for the sake of understanding, we separate them. So the physical, the psychological, and the spiritual. What we have done is we've taken the mental, the psychological out, and we have the physical and the spiritual, which counters our message. Now, how do we correct that? We re-include the psychological, and that's the segue between the physical and the spiritual that creates that holism again. And think about it evangelistically. You give a cooking class, you teach people how to bake bread and scramble tofu and how it is gonna improve their cholesterol and so on. And then you have over here, the mark of the beast and the prophecy message. How do you get from here to here? Oh, now that you know how to scramble tofu, you wanna to hear about the mark of the, I mean, I'm exaggerating to make a point, but it's so much smoother to say, you know, now that you're dealing with some of your heart issues, do you have any mental health issues? Yes, my doctor says I need treatment for, well, we're gonna have a depression recovery program. Wouldn't that be, and then at the depression recovery, you get down with them, you start talking about some of the events of their life and they say, yeah, my son died two years ago and I have been having difficulty getting past it. And, and uh, you know, I just, I really don't know what happens to people when they die. Well, then you've got a wide open door to the spiritual message. So it's much smoother evangelistically to have all three of those components. So that's our package, is uniquely what I would call Adventist gospel-centered mental health. And we want to promote that to the world and share it with anybody who will listen via coaching and counseling using largely video conferencing and telephone technology workshops where we help people change. We have an anxiety and depression workshop. We're working on a trauma workshop. We're gonna do a marriage workshop soon. We'd like to have a thousand more workshops where all those are. So we wanna do workshops that are change oriented. Let, let us supplement your counseling that's going on. 
with this group experience and sometimes that'll give you something that the counseling can't. They work very well off each other. And then trainings where we equip people in how to help other people such as the Abide Helper training. And we want to build this community so that we can fill in that gap between the physical health message and the spiritual me message and create that holism, which I think will improve our witness and help bring the gospel to the world. Because if you think about it, like where the gospel really, the rubber hits the road is in the psychological. We're told that thoughts and feelings combined make up moral character. And we're all about developing character so we can be ready for Jesus to come. But when we come alongside people and help them change the way they think and the way they feel, we're actually helping prepare them. We're helping them develop character so that they can be ready for Jesus to come. And you can do this at whatever stage of religiosity that person is. They may or may not be a church member. They may be at the beginning of their process or whatever. But if you're helping change the way they think and feel to reflect reality more accurately, you're preparing that person for the coming of Jesus.